I'm so possessed by color palette that I wore a white shirt today. So, <laughs> but I have to ask you, um, Adam, the the colors that you chose so communicated the Cold War. I, I just felt it was a visceral feeling. And I just wonder if you can explain how you sort of arrived at that. I know that really puts you on the spot. But <laughs> go. Well, I mean, it, 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 it started with sort of big, big question, questions about the sort of overall color palette of the film and about separating the New York portion of the story from the, from the Berlin portion of the story. And in, and in particular, just that the world was, was extremely cold in, in the actual events of, of, of the real story that's taking place. So we weren't actually even adding that. That really happened. He went and, and got this cold when he went over there. So we were we just decided to dive into that. But it but it also gave a structure to, to fall into, right? So so the the lighting was colder over there. Everything was colder over there, and we just followed that with color. Um, and it was a and it was a it was on on this film it was really useful to make a a, a really strict formal decision like that because we had a lot of repeated spaces where where we were doing courtrooms in, 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 in one side of the story, courtrooms in another side of the story, and these domestic interiors, and we had a lot of mirroring of, of, of those spaces, and so it was really useful to, 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 to have that structure to fall into, to, to say, um, you know, to go in all the wood tones and, and, and the warm golds and, and, and creams that we were using in, in Donovan's side of the story, and then falling into the cooler tones uh, in, in Berlin.